Alright, what is going on YouTube? Fox, you can become a GSC with a brand new video. And in today's video, we are going to be playing Call of Duty World War II for the first time in like a month, maybe two. So I hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications. We are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. So if you guys don't mind hitting that sub button and turn on notifications, it's greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's go, bro. A lot of you guys have been asking for a World War II video. And I haven't really, I'm not gonna lie. I tried to pump out some awesome BO4 content and people just like hate BO4. So, you know, I don't blame you guys for not watching. Like, it's all good. I understand. I know a lot of you guys have been sub to me since World War II first started and all that good stuff where you guys found me from Call of Duty World War II. So you guys have been wanting a World War II video. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. I ex except that World War II has fire shotguns and they're more annoying in this game, in my opinion, than anything that I've ever played. Nope, okay, here we go. There's probably a guy that's like waiting right there. No, he's not there. Okay, he's not there. Okay, nice, nice. We got a UAV. But yeah, so I guess I'll use this video to talk about a couple things and uh, kind of give you guys my feelings on World War II. Everyone kind of knows how I feel about this game. I, I like World War II. I like a World War II setting. It's just, I don't know. This this game used to piss me off to no end. And requis requisitions is, no, you know what? The reason I don't, don't like this game so much is because of requisitions. And that's pretty much the main reason why. Uh, that and the fire shotguns and the maps are pretty bad. Maps are, maps are three lane garbage. <laughs> there, there's some good maps. There's some okay maps and things like that. But yeah, I know, I understand why a lot of you guys have wanted me to play World War II again. I'm just doing it. Maybe from now on, we'll do like a monthly visit to World War II where like, where I come back and I play World War II for a video or whatever for you guys once every month or something like that. You know, I don't want to stay on World War II forever. You know, we got, we got to grow as, we got to grow as content creators here, buddy. You know, you guys did support me a lot throughout this game. And I do appreciate all of you guys that did, you know, subscribe and were a part of, you know, all that. So I don't want to leave you guys out of, you know, the stuff that... I do and like the content that I that I drop on YouTube and uh, if you guys didn't check out my last video I'm gonna plug this real quick make sure you guys go check out the AK-47 in every Call of Duty we looked at pretty much every single Call of Duty I'm pretty sure I played 16 Call of Duties it was a lot of work to do that video and if you guys haven't checked out that video yet please go do so and drop a like on it if you don't mind it's greatly appreciated if you guys do so because I worked really hard on that video it's like it's like 30 some minutes long so you guys get all the foxy content that you guys want and I almost killed him, but I didn't. Do you guys notice anything different? Do you guys notice anything different? <laughs> so yeah, uh, my beard is like hot pink. It's like bright ass pink. Um, it, it, it's pretty awesome. I gotta give a big shout out to uh, Sarah who did the original beard and she did like a magenta type color. It got it a little bit pink, but my hair is so dark that it kind of like it didn't come out like super bright pink and but it came out as like a pinkish magenta color a lot of people were saying that it was kind of like reddish but you know that's okay it kind of got that color into my beard because my hair is so dark and then a big shout out to uh steph doing the hot pink or doing the bright pink beard or whatever and this is for breast cancer awareness month and uh th this is gonna be an awesome month i'm hoping for streams and things like that i'm really looking forward to this and all that good stuff and i'll inform you guys in the next game because i'm trying to concentrate and i'm trying to no okay no 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 oh my god if he had killed me with the hammer i would have just like fucking stream. why are you sitting right there make sure you guys go follow my twitch it's it'll be down in the description below while you're down in my down in the description you guys can stock up on the brand new g fuel flavor uh the sour pixel pack not sour pixel pack it's sour pixel potion it's like sour grape. It's really good, actually. Grab a tub and use code FOXY for a discount. Hell yeah, small plug. No, no shame. All right, we got the MP40. And it's double XP in uh, Free For All right now, which is like freaking sweet. So why is my beard pink? Well, uh, the month of October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the United States, at least. I don't know if any other countries, like, you know, kind of do it this way, but the United States does. And, um, you know, like athletes and, and the breast cancer ribbon is pink. So, you know, when I was playing sports and things like that, we would all wear pink during the month of October with, you know, our, with our football uniforms and things like that, have like pink accessories and things like that. It was a dope time of year because like we could wear pink. It was like the, the one viable time during the year where we could wear pink when we were playing and things like that. And that, that was really cool. Uh, also, flag tower, tag flower. Let me get a tag flower in the comments. So that's why the beard is pink. It's to spread awareness for breast cancer awareness and research and things like that. 
And, like I said earlier, if you guys want to, you guys can follow me on Twitch. And the entire month of October, we're going to do Twitch streams. And all the donations I receive, unless specified otherwise, will go to a breast cancer awareness fund. And it'll be a local one around my area. Just because I don't want to give to uh, like one like Susan G. Coleman or anything like that. I don't want anyone to take the money and do something bad with it. Like I don't want to donate to a charity and then have that charity or person that runs the charity keep the money and not use it for its intended purposes. That's just wrong in my opinion. So we're going to be doing that. And I think I'm probably going to start like a thread on Twitter. So if you guys don't follow my Twitter, make sure you guys go follow me on Twitter because I'll have this thread. I'll have an announcement on Twitter and Instagram. All the transactions that I give to the charity will be in that thread. So it, just in case anyone thinks that I'm lying or I'm keeping the money or whatever, like, and that I'm actually giving the money to the charities and donating to the, the cause and things like that. So, you know, that's going to be super fun. So if you guys want to go follow me on Twitter and Twitch, you know, and like I said, it's it's up to you guys, you know. I, it doesn't matter how much money we, we raise. We could raise, like, $5, and I would give that $5 to the charity. Or we could raise $500, and I would give that money to the charity. It doesn't matter. You know, no matter what we get, you know, I'll always be giving it back to the charity. It, it's cool. Like, I just decided to do this, and I know that, you know, you guys know... A lot of you guys, like, kind of know me through the colored beard. You guys have been accustomed to me having the colored beard right now. So, I thought that that was something neat that we could do. Something creative you know spice it up a little bit get the juices flowing i guess as, as we used to say on stream i've got multiple compliments on it i'm actually today is monday so i'm actually going to school today so i'm curious as to what type of shit's gonna be said to me i really hope that no one says some bullshit to me a lot of people have been asking me if i lost a bet and i'm just like i, I mean no but <laughs> and i have no problem showing the proof that i'm donating to these charities like that's not an issue for me you know i it's just it's, it's one of those things i have literally zero problem i'm not gonna start a gofundme because i feel like that's kind of pointless considering it's for breast cancer research and the, the gofundme is not for me so like you know that that would be kind of that would be just pointless to do that yeah that, that's why the beard's pink and that's what we're doing all month of october i don't know how long i'm gonna have it the beard will probably last way past october one of my grandmothers had breast cancer twice and she beat it twice so it's also something that i've seen happen before it, it, close to my family and things like that so all right we got the volkstum come here and uh i actually have the goat too now but i forgot to make a class with it so what are you doing? All right, let's see. Oh, you're gonna die. Double kill. Oh my god, dude, this gun is so good. I love this gun. It's so good. You guys remember pre-patch Volk? Oh shit. Killing spree. Double kill. Double kill. Triple kill. Oh my god. Killing frenzy. What the fuck? Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. We got paratroopers? That's crazy. It's lit. And we got... Alright, here we go. Nice. Alright, well... <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. Holy shit, dude. Wait, what the fuck? I was like, why the hell is he shooting at me? That's so crazy. Oh my god. We're just, go we're just going off. We're just destroying these guys. Oh no. Nice. We got a kill chain? It's lit. But yeah, man. Uh, like... I'm not gonna lie. There's a there's a there's a small part of me that like what like wonders. You know, I wonder what. I don't know. I don't know. What World War II is so. It's got such a mixed review between the Call of Duty community. It's praised between. It's praised by like so so many people, but it's really hated among another group of people, which is like super funny to me. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not a bad Call of Duty, but it's not like the best either you know it, it is what it is but that's gonna be my daily visit to call booty world war ii i hope you guys did enjoy if you guys did make sure you guys leave a like down below subscribe turn on notifications make sure you guys go follow me on twitch as well uh the link will be down in the description below we're gonna start the breast cancer awareness streams tomorrow um and all that good stuff and then yeah that'll that, that's gonna do it and we'll have the pink beer all october hopefully and uh, if i have to redye it i will uh make sure you guys go use my code on gfield.com there's a brand new flavor it's called uh sour pixel potion like i kind of pitched earlier in the video don't worry about it but yeah uh it's like a sour grape flavor use my code you guys get a discount follow me on like instagram and all my other social medias as well to keep up to date with all the new content and things like that 
Uh, go check out the, the last video as well, the AK-47 in every single Call of Duty. It took me fucking forever to make that, so um, I would appreciate it if you guys went and go dropped a like on it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!